if you had trouble with the, um, this is the trick expansions question, and we did trick expansions a while ago, and we didn't spend that much time on it, because it's kind of like an isolated silo question, uh, which is a little bit different to, you know when we're doing, you know when we're doing calculus, right, they're all intertwined, so you spend a lot of time practicing them, this one, not so much, okay, so how does it work? Um, that's what you get given, okay, I've written it as the main thing, because that's what I'm going to work off in a second, this is what they ask you, what's the value of that? And the key is that it must be exact, okay? So, before we dive into working on these, you have to remember what the expansion is, okay? So, what is the expansion of sine alpha minus beta? Sine alpha. Sine alpha, cos beta, okay, and then sine <laughs> retains sine, right? So, minus goes into a minus, and then you switch the functions. Well, I get it, sine retains sine. Well, you get it. Um, I never even got I just made that up. That's a good one. Hey, or is it? I don't know. Maybe it's. <laughs> si as in sine <laughs> retains the sine, as opposed to cos, which oh, is oh, 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 okay, anyway, okay. So here's the point. I want an exact value. Um, sine alpha cos beta, cos alpha sine beta, they're the pieces I need, four pieces, and I only have two of them. So I have to use these pieces to work out what the other two pieces look like. Okay? So um, take note of the domain. We're going to talk about that in a second. But basically, you want to think about this as representing an angle in a triangle. Okay, so alpha is in a triangle, a right angle triangle, with these ratios of sides. Okay, so if I draw out, don't worry about scale. <coughs> put alpha here in a right angle triangle. Okay, cos is which ratio? Adjacent on hypotenuse, right? So this is your adjacent, and this is your hypotenuse. Okay, so here's 11 and here's 12. Okay. Now, what does that tell you the other side is? You use Pythagoras. Yeah, you get 144, 121, so yeah, 23. Okay, so therefore, I can say if that's what cos alpha is, sine alpha <coughs> should be uh, opposite of the hypotenuse, right? Root 23 on 12. Now, before you leave off, right, you have to be careful. You get a value, but you know, when you've got restrictions on domain, you always need to be careful, okay? So you look at this, and then you check it, okay? Now, between 0 and 180, which quadrants is that? It's 1 and 2, right? <laughs> or students to concentrate, was it? Uh, that predates me. Okay, so in quadrants 1 and 2, um, sine, as in sine, S-I-N-E, is, is positive. Okay, so, so far so good. Okay, and you come over here, and beta is in a completely different triangle. Okay, so what you draw is, okay, now by the way, what I'm doing is I'm mimicking the answer that's in the solution. You guys know, if you remember, I showed you how to draw this with negatives in it, because you're in another quadrant, but this approach is fine. Okay, drawing it as a regular triangle, everything positive, and then you come back to the domain is okay, right? Right, so sine uh, is opposite on hypotenuse. So you got two on three, which gives you the other sign being what, root five. <coughs> okay, so cos beta adjacent on hypotenuse. Okay, now again, you look at your domain, which is ninety-two to seventy, which is which quadrants? Which quadrants? Two and three. Okay, well, two and three. Both of them, cosine is negative, right? So I need to slap a minus sign on the front there. Okay, so beware domain. All right, that's the hard part. Uh, I've, I've done all the tricky bits. I just have to take one, two, three, four bits and just combine them in this way. So I would say sine alpha minus beta is, okay, sine alpha cos beta uh, minus the other ones, cos alpha and Can you guys take it from there? Is that enough? Like on partner? Yes, that's okay. I think you guys are capable of arithmetic. Yeah. Then when you go back to the domain, yep. you know how all the first ones sign in both of them positive and cos both of them are negative? Yeah, okay. Well, now so what you need to think about is, Okay, so let's pick one, shall we? Um, if they told you, sorry? What if that was sine? You mean if sine alpha was 11 or 12? No, sine B was 5 or 3. You already know what sine B is. Yeah, that's right. 
See, what, what they're doing, they have to, as a teacher, setting a question, I have to be careful, right, that I don't contradict myself. Um, I should give you, the, these two together will be enough information to conclusively, unambiguously, work out the sign of your value. Okay? Because it can't be both at the same time. Um, if you want to... Sorry, sorry. What if it was though? No, you, still, you will still know. You'll what if they were different signs though? What do you mean? Like, what Daniel wants. It, it, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. Because if it was different, then it would be the one that you know about already. They would tell you, and so you know what the sign is automatically. Okay. Yeah, that's right. A triangle wouldn't exist. So you can see, in um, sine beta equals minus 2 and 3. Okay, and it's between 90 and 270. So you know you're down here. Right? Can you see that? Because it, I can't be up here. Because sine is negative, right? So in fact, this is actually giving you a little more information. It's actually telling you this, okay? Because it can't be positive.